Hello Internet, Andrew Huang here again for LPX Studios, bringing you another episode of How To. Today's episode is going to cover how you pair your PS4 controller with an Android device, uh, 4.2 or higher. Um, today I'm going to be using my Note 4 as an example, but before I go on to uh, explain how to do it, um, if well, if if you want to if you want to skip what I have to say, just go ahead and hit that link I provided in the video or in the description box for your mobile users. But I wanted to disclaim something. I went online to check out the other videos that were made and a lot of the common themes that I saw from the commenters were that some of them either didn't describe what they were doing and or go over some of the limitations. So here's my warning to you guys. It is compatible with uh, Android 4.2 and up. It, you, can go, you can go ahead and connect the PS4 controller to the phone, but does it work well? And to be honest, it's not the PS4 controller was never meant to be hooked up to um, a, a pretty much a non-Sony Android phone, in my opinion. Because um, I'm going to show you gameplay later on, and I'm going to be using an emulator to show you how the buttons actually react and how they correspond with one another. And they're not—they're all messed up. The buttons all, get all messed up, and the sec oh, and this is the biggest part: the second joystick does not work. So for games that require you to move and view things, it's not going to work, guys. So I'm warning you that right now um, because I tried doing this because I was trying to look for a cheap way to uh, play the uh, Samsung Gear VR games that require a gamepad without spending 100 bucks or, you know, it's 80 or 100 bucks when I already have a PS4 controller. And I thought this would work when I found it and nobody warned me that it wouldn't work as well as I thought it would. And so pretty much this way, it's probably good for emulators and games that don't require uh, two joysticks and all the buttons but if you're playing a serious game um, that's meant for android that requires all the buttons that you need then this isn't for you it really isn't going to work like for me right now i actually ordered another game pad that's specifically meant for mobile devices um, I had to dish out the cash for it. Thankfully, I had a gift card. <laughs> now after hearing all that and you still want to go ahead and connect it just follow this next step all right, guys, let's just go over the step by step on how to connect your PS4 controller to the phone. So what you do on the PS4 controller, obviously, make sure it's charged. All right, guys, here's the step by step on how to connect the PS4 controller to the phone. So in the phone, first, you want to go into settings, Bluetooth. You want to leave it there for now. And then on on the controller, go ahead and hit the home and share button at the same time until you see that light bar um, blinking. So you see that? You see how it's blinking a couple times here and there? Now it's in discovery mode. And then when you go to hit scan on the phone, oh, there you go. You see how it comes up right there? Just go ahead and hit wireless controller. And it's gonna begin it's gonna begin to pair with the device. And look, boom, it's paired now. And to verify that it's paired, not only will you see it on the on the screen here, but the light will be solid the entire time. Now let's see if it actually works. So you see, I'm gonna, on the screen here, I'm moving the joystick and selecting back and forth. So that means it's working, you know, the direction, oh, the, the D-pad works fine. That's the one thing that does work fine that's, that didn't get affected. So let's go home and let me just show you. All right, guys, I just loaded up an emulator on my Note 4 and I'm only gonna show the bottom part of the screen just to kind of cover myself just in case. The bottom part of the screen shows all the all the um, the button commands to operate the emulator when you're on screen. And then when you're using a wireless controller, anytime you press a button, it corresponds to show you what you're inputting. So this is actually a perfect way to show you guys what buttons work and don't work. So obviously the directional pad works just fine. As you see here, I'm pressing the buttons and they're, they're reacting just fine. Left joystick works fine, like I said before. But the right stick does nothing. I've t I've tried this on the Samsung Gear VR games, and I can tell you guys that right now it just doesn't work. It doesn't respond. The game's glitched out actually, so it's definitely not working. And another thing too, these buttons here, I, I as you can see on the screen, X square cir triangle circle. It should work that way, right? Watch what happens. X is circle. Square is X. Triangle is square and circle is nothing 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 it's actually it's actually the left trigger or uh trigger yeah um the the left and right bumpers work for the these work that does nothing but that's triangle so technically speaking you gotta look at it this way 
the controller button is laid out like that with triangle being up here. Now, for some of you, that may not be a big deal because some people are used to having square select and stuff. But when it comes to some of the games, it becomes very cumbersome. Like even for me, I tried it with some of the Gear VR games and my brain was just fighting with it the entire time. So that's very inconvenient. But the major thing for me, guys, is that the, the left joystick doesn't work. I mean, the right joystick, I mean. And that's a big deal. I mean, for a lot of games out there. But for the other games, this might not be so. So, I mean, this... Honestly, this is this is totally up to you guys whether you want to go ahead and do this or not. Obviously, I just shown you that it's possible, it works. Just follow these steps, and it should appear. Um, if it doesn't, just make sure your Android uh, your Android OS is up to date at this point. But this is a Note Four. Um, apparently, this works for an S Five, and I believe the Nexus phones. But um, just go ahead if you have one, you were looking into do it. Try it yourself. If not, if let's say you were actually looking into buying this controller specifically for your phone. I don't recommend it. I just said because there's other there's other Android controllers out there for the same price as a PS4 controller. So go with one of those instead. <laughs> one last quick thing that you guys probably want to understand is that the controller doesn't have an off button uh, pieces. You normally manage through the PS4, but how to turn this guy off? You literally have to either unpair it with the Bluetooth or just simply turn off your Bluetooth and then it will shut off and then turn it back on if you need be if you need to. But just keep that in mind. Um, I have I did that a couple times and I let my PS4 controller die all the way. Um, I was supposed to release this video a lot earlier, but that happened. So sorry about that. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I have for you today. I hope this video helped out answering any questions or any concerns that you may have had doing this process. If you have any questions at all, please go ahead and leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to try to get back to you within one day. Um, also, if you liked or disliked this video, please leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down and let me know if you, you know, what you thought of it. And at the same time, if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more content. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Oh. Oh. oh sweet. Okay. Oh, I need to pilot this thing. Wait, how do I pilot? Look at me. I'm looking at you. Take a moment to look around you and familiarize yourself with your surroundings. Sounds good. Oh my god, this is insane. This is so creepy. Oh what do I do? What? That's a monster.